Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are doing episode 25 of the Fortnite Mythbusters. In today's episode, we go over a few myths that contain the brand new item, the Stink Bomb in Fortnite. Before we get into today's video, comment down your favorite item in Fortnite currently. For me, I'm gonna have to say the shopping carts, even though they are disabled right now, there is so much that you could do with them. You can make ramps, you can make shopping carts, honestly, weren't that bad of an idea to add it into the game. Sounded like a bad idea a month ago, but it was actually really good. Also guys, if you guys wanna have a chance to win 1,000 V-Bucks, all what you have to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment your console down below. Make sure to be active because I will be joining the winner on the 21st. Anyways, like every other Mythbusters episode, if you guys have any myths you would like me to test in the next or future episode, make sure to leave it down in the comments down below. I try to read as many as I can, so if it is a unique myth, you will have a better chance to have it featured in the next or future episodes. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right on in to today's video. To kick things off, the first myth is, if you throw a stink bomb at the balloon of a supply drop, will it damage the balloon? Or will it not affect the balloon at all? In game to test this out, it was very difficult because obviously everybody tries to go for the supply drops if it is in the area. So on top of finding a supply drop on its own, you also have to find a stink bomb. After trying to do this myth for a while, I finally managed to do it and the outcome was pretty surprising. Sadly, the stink bomb will not damage the airdrop balloon. It is pretty much a bummer, but there wasn't much that you could do anyways with it. I mean, honestly, if the supply drop is on the ground, you wouldn't want to destroy the balloon since that would be kind of like a waste of ammo and you would definitely give your position away. So with the stink bomb damaging it, it really isn't that big of an issue. The next myth is if you throw a stink bomb inside of a one by one, Will the actual gas go outside of the walls or will it just stay in? In game when we tested this out, I don't really think there was any other way we would have been able to do this. But when we tried it, we threw the stink bomb into a one by one and my friend immediately edited the walls so it would block it off. Surprisingly, the stink bomb actually went through the walls. So that means if somebody is in a house, you could take out multiple people in separate rooms. Seeing this, if you know somebody is in a room in the corner of a house, you just throw it at the wall and it will bleed through and definitely push them out. The next myth was, if you throw multiple stink bombs together, will it double up on damage? Meaning, if you throw two stink bombs, will it do 10 damage per second rather than 5? In game, when we tested this out, luckily we had a ton of stink bombs and when we went into it after throwing two right next to each other, it wouldn't go only 10 damage at a time, it would still go 5 damage at a time but it would be twice as fast, so I guess it kinda counts. Anyways, if you do get stuck in a situation where you are in the middle of two or even three stink bombs, it will be deadly. The next myth is, if you throw a stink bomb at a structure in the sky and that structure breaks, will the cloud of the gas still be floating in midair? When I saw this myth, I was definitely very curious and I thought it was a really good one because, I mean, you wouldn't really ever expect this. When we tested it, we threw it at a structure in the sky and destroyed it. So the stink bomb gas would just be kind of hovering in the middle of the sky and that's exactly what happened. This was pretty cool to see and I wonder if anybody else in the game saw this because they would have thought maybe there was like a new planet or something coming to the earth of Fortnite. I could only imagine what it would be like to throw like five or even ten of these and just destroy the entire structure see a ton of these balls just floating around in the middle of the sky that would be awesome if you guys ever get a chance try to do that and send me a picture on twitter the next myth was if you throw a clinger at a c4 or near c4 will it detonate that c4 now this was a pretty obvious one but not one that you would really expect to see in game now when i threw a clinger at all of the c4s at first it looked like it did no damage until the game actually registered that the C4s blew up. This was pretty cool to see and I have never really seen anybody else actually use this tactic. If you do have a clinger and you do get lucky at someone throwing their C4 at you, maybe it'll stick on and cause like a massive explosion backfiring on the opponent. But overall, I was pretty surprised to see this and I didn't expect the C4s to go off. The next myth is a kind of useless myth, not one that you would really use in game, but if you are dancing on a structure and that structure is destroyed or edited from below you, will the dance that you are doing cancel out? When I tested this out on my own, I was doing a solo match and the only way I could really do it is to build myself on a structure and try and dance real quick while it was all being destroyed. Luckily, I was able to do the floss emote for about a second until I would actually fall and when the floor is broken from beneath you, your player would automatically swap back to his weapon or whatever his inventory slot is. 
The next myth is, if a basketball scores inside of a soccer goal, will the soccer goal explosion still happen and will the scoreboard change? When I'm trying to do this myth, it was very difficult because every time I play Fortnite, I get 6 to 20 pack of loss, sometimes an occasional 40 to 50. It is the most annoying thing. I have no idea how to fix this. I've had my ISP come out here. I've had it change, new router and everything, and it still hasn't been fixed. So if anybody knows how to fix that, let me know. Anyways, to verify that the goal explosions still do work in this update, I shot the soccer ball in the net and the explosion did happen and the scoreboard changed. When I pushed the basketball into the net, sadly, there were no goal explosions, the scoreboard didn't change, it was kinda overhyped. I honestly didn't really expect anything to happen, but I guess it was worth a shot since it is still a ball going into the net, maybe it might have tricked the system. The final myth is, if you place down a launch pad and you jump on it, will you be able to catch up onto your rocket and rocket ride yourself basically? I did this myth a while ago in like 10 to 15 episodes ago of the Mythbusters series and it just got so many comments. A lot of people recently did not see that episode because it honestly didn't do that well. So I decided to throw it in here once again. Since guided missiles are no longer in the game, you are unable to basically rocket ride yourself, but with doing this tactic, you still cannot sadly. When you shoot your rocket and then you jump onto the launch pad, it is insanely hard to catch up to the rocket and it is basically impossible. I don't know exactly if you have to shoot the rocket in a certain angle in order for you to catch up to it, but as I can see right now, it is impossible to rocket ride yourself. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure to leave a comment down below of a myth you would like to have featured in the next or future episodes. And I will see you guys next time.